Hi, I'm Alo. Welcome to the series where we speak with our experts to understand more on what Sinjin does. So today we will be talking with a Sinjin veteran who has been there with Sinjin since last 21 years. So we are in conversation with Jaydev from the Chemical Development Operations Unit. So Jaydev, any specific example of the challenges that you have faced in the recent past? See, uh, I would not say it as a challenge, uh, mm -hmm. Alu. Uh, mm -hmm. It's an opportunity for development services. Um, see, uh, clients come to us as a yeah. one-stop shop for uh, entire development. Mm -hmm. Okay, integrated development is the new mantra. Many okay. clients uh, just come to us for uh, integrated development services. We have done uh, multiple programs in last uh, several years uh, on an integrated mm -hmm. platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have geared up for uh, uh, giving a solution to complex and uh, complex uh, integrated uh, development services for many of our clients. Uh, that's one thing. And also, uh, we have uh, uh, some of the upgraded capabilities uh, in uh, solid state uh, solid state chemistry, uh, uh, polymorph and uh, salt mm -hmm. screening, and these are the areas uh, which is something we are very strong and we are upgrading our uh, capabilities uh, in this area uh, where we can we can uh, provide a better solutions and uh, better mm -hmm. technologies mm -hmm. to our uh, uh, clients and customers. Yeah. So there has been continuous uh, innovation. Absolutely, and uh, upgradation of our uh, technologies, infrastructure in the solid state area, which, is, which will give a competitive edge um, over uh, other clients, I would say. And the clients uh, uh, want to place all their uh, studies under one roof. One shop. So that's, see, that's in drug, uh, integrated drug development uh, service that's, offering. Yeah, that's, okay. that's a new mantra, uh, which is, which is uh, uh, since we have everything within one campus, and uh, the coordination between the different functions is uh, very, very uh, smooth. That is helping us uh, in winning some of these uh, new opportunities in this area. Great, so fantastic. I mean, that is uh, uh, one of the biggest advantages uh, that Sinjin has over uh, the competitors. Great. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, okay, Jadev, so tell me, uh, how do you maintain a safe working environment for um, all the Sinjin employees? See, uh, one of the mantra uh, uh, Sinjin has is uh, safety is at the heart of everything we do personally and professionally. Uh, what I mean uh, by that is, just, hmm. just careful. Yeah, sure. Yeah, what I, what I uh, uh, mean by that is, we, we not only take care of them in the professional way, in the personal way also, we support our employees to uh, 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 face the safety aspects of in their day to day life in the professional and the personal, uh, personal way. Um, See, uh, whenever uh, uh, whenever we receive an RFP, we do a thorough evaluation of uh, safety assessment, starting from the RFP stage uh, till the commercialization. This is this is one thing, and uh, any reactions, any reactions is done in the lab. We do uh, uh, lab hazard analysis. Uh, what I mean by lab ha hazard analysis, we do uh, uh, safety data sheet and literature survey for the, some of these chemistries, and uh, functional group evaluation and uh, uh, what you call qualitative and uh, quantitative uh, uh, checklist that's something we do before we uh, before we take up any project from the lab scale to plant scale a thorough evaluation happens which will help us that minimize some of the uh, safety challenges when we take up some of the project from lab to plant scale uh, absolutely i absolutely agree that uh, safety is of paramount importance to us um, and and uh, not only that um, uh, what we also do here is uh, uh, we have certain policies like a lone worker or a buddy policy. For example, any chemist is working, we make sure that uh, somebody is there with them uh, uh, during any uh, particular chemistry or uh, particular reaction they do. That will help them uh, give a confidence. Uh, that's one thing. And also, uh, Gemba work is another important uh, thing we have started from last uh, 12 to uh, uh, probably 18 months. Uh, what's happening there is uh, a senior leadership go to the uh, different labs. Uh, uh, when they go there, they interact with some of the chemists and then chemists come and interact and there's a healthy exchange between the chemist and the leadership team and then make sure that certain, uh, certain so way of working interaction exchange. between the chemist and the leadership team, you mean to say? Yes. Okay. Yes. That will that'll actually helping us to uh, uh, evolve better in terms of the safety area. They, they share some of these small, small challenges. We try to address that and then make it a better place to work in the lab and uh, 
other areas as well. So uh, another another important point, uh, Alu, is uh, so far what I spoke about is the professional part of it. So in the personal uh, part, so we have uh, uh, a different policy like any vehicle inside the uh, inside the facility, we have a speed limit of 15 km per hour and uh, a pedestrian path and uh, whenever you walk in the stairs, you are not supposed to use the mobile phones. That is, um, that is something we have. And also recently there was a training from EHSS team, uh, a defensive driving uh, for the two wheelers and the four wheelers. What is happening is we, we are just helping them, guiding them what they need to do in case of a certain situation when they are driving either a two wheeler or a four wheeler. That's, that's really helping uh, employees, uh, not only in the professional way, in the personal way so also. So personal, them professional, actually. all sort of safety are being taken care of. Taken care. Great, fantastic Jadev. It was a very, very insightful discussion. I really enjoyed it and I received lots of information as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alu. Uh, I really enjoyed, it. I enjoyed the talk and uh, thank you again. Thanks. So that's exactly the 21 years of experience brings to us. It is not just about business, but a holistic approach towards people, towards safety and towards clients. Hope you enjoyed the talk today. Thank you very much.